This week, I would like to talk about squirrel evolution and diversity. The squirrel family Cyuridae is very diverse in form as well as geographical distribution. They are only one of few mammal families that are found in all continents except for Australia and Antarctica. The earliest fossil evidence for squirrels was found in western North America and dated to about 36 million years ago. North America is the continent most diverse in squirrel species. Indeed, geographical regions diverse in a particular taxa are likely to be the origin of the first species in that taxa. Climatic and geological changes five million years after evolving in North America were influential in the spread of squirrels from North America into the rest of the world. Between 30 and 36 million years ago, there was easy passage between North America and Eurasia, evidenced by 30 million year old squirrel fossils found in Europe. During this time, the squirrel family split into five major subfamilies, Cyurinae, Xerinae, Ratufinae, Calocyurinae, and Cyurilinae. The oldest and most diverse subfamily of squirrels are in the subfamily Cyurinae, which has been around for about 36 million years. They include the flying squirrels, which were once thought to be in a separate subfamily, but recent genetic studies place them in this subfamily, but in a separate tribe, the Teromyini. The non-gliding tribe is called Cyrene. According to fossil records, the first squirrels arrived in Africa shortly after that former island continent collided with Eurasia about 18 to 20 million years ago. African squirrels gave rise to the subfamily Xerinae. Ground-dwelling members of this African subfamily eventually diverged and spread across the world, becoming the ancestors of the modern-day ground squirrels, chipmunks, marmots, and prairie dogs. The four extant species of giant squirrels of the genus Ratufa that are now found in southeastern Asia once had a much greater range that extended into Europe. Fossils similar to Ratufa had been found in Europe dating to the Middle Miocene 16 to 15.2 million years ago. These squirrels are in the subfamily Ratufinae. Southeast Asia 11 million years ago experienced a great increase in squirrel genera. This was caused by very low sea levels, allowing passage between land masses that are now currently islands. The subfamily Calocyurinae, co containing 60 species in Southeast Asia, first appears in a fossil record in the late Pliocene 3 million years ago. South America has the Neotropical Pygmy Squirrel, a mysterious species which is placed in its own subfamily Cyurilinae. Before three million years ago, South America was isolated from North America, preventing any migrations of squirrels. It is now relatively diverse of squirrels of the genus Cyrus, related to North American squirrels. Evidence indicates that Neotropical Pygmy Squirrel diverged from other squirrels 35 million years ago, about the time North American squirrels diverged into different geographical regions. It is likely these squirrels arrived in South America via flotsam, the same way monkeys arrived to South America from Africa.